That's it. That's it. That's it. That's it. How do I look, Mama? How do I look? Welcome to my channel. My name is Yoli. Um, in this video, I actually want to get, talk to you guys a little more about myself um, as to who I am, um, if I'm married, if I'm not married, do I have kids, do I not have kids, and why I wanted to start this YouTube channel. Um, so if you want to get to know me a little bit more, please continue to watch. Don't forget to like, don't forget to subscribe. And go ahead and leave a comment. Leave a comment, um, ask me a question, or tell me what you guys wanna see. Um, if you enjoyed this video, if you think my makeup look good or don't look good, I don't really do a lot, but I do what, what I feel like looks good on me. But. All right, just keep watching. Hello, welcome. My name is Yoli. Um, we're gonna get ready this morning and as I get ready I will tell you guys more about myself and why I wanted to start this YouTube channel so I'm not going anywhere I just figured I do my face fix my hair so you can guys to get to a little know a little bit more about me so um let's see I'm not a pro at doing my makeup but I do what I can so I'm gonna start with my eyebrows that's how I like to get started. But so, like I said, my name is Yoli. I am married to my husband, Ricardo, and we have been married for five years. We just celebrated our fifth year anniversary in August, and it was lovely. Um, I met him, well, I've known him pretty much my entire life, but I didn't really know him, but I knew of him. Um, we grew up in the same church growing up back in New Jersey. Um, I moved down to Georgia with my parents and my brothers back in 2004. Um, and he stayed in New Jersey, finished his, um, got his college degree and everything. And then after he graduated, that's when he started um, moving out of South and came down South. So... Our um, home church has a church convention every year, and um, back in 2012, I think it was, our church convention was in Florida, um, Orlando, Florida, and I ran into him there. We talked for a little bit, and I think that was pretty much it. He didn't ask me for my number or anything, but um, of course, right after I left, he messaged me on Facebook and asked me for my number. So, talked for a little bit, and I think a couple weeks went by, and it just died down. Like, I wasn't really interested, and I don't think he was, I don't know, but it didn't work out. So, we stopped talking, and then um, four years go by. Fast forward to 2016, I had posted a picture on Facebook and he left a comment on my Facebook picture and it was like a a snarky comment I would say he um and I commented back and I was just like get off my page um in other words and then a couple days after that he sent me a text message and um was like hey Yoli what's up and I'm like who is this <laughs> and he was like it's me Ricardo I was like oh I said, hi. And he just starts talking to me as if we never stopped talking. And eventually I was like, why are you, what, what's going on? Why are you, why are you text messaging me? Like, what's, what's really good? And he was like, um, I'm glad you asked that. He was like, I just figured that I would, we could try again and get to know each other. And I was like, okay, I guess. And next thing I know, I'm engaged and we're married. So... <laughs> So I love him dearly. Um, he is an amazing husband. We have two daughters. We have Riley. I can't talk and do this. 
at the same time. Okay, so we have Riley who is three and we have Reagan who is two. Um, and if you follow me on Instagram, you will, you, you feel like you might already know Riley and Reagan. <laughs> so um, if you don't follow me on Instagram, go do that. Um, at love mama Yoli. Yoli is Y O L I E. Go follow so you can watch what these girls put me through on a daily basis and how I manage, how I keep my head sane. Okay, I gotta focus. I can't do this one. And talk. So. I am pretty much a stay-at-home mom. Um, I work still. I'm a registered nurse. And I love what I do as a nurse. But when I started having the kids and realizing that I didn't feel comfortable um, bringing them to daycare or we couldn't really find anyone that we would trust. So my husband and I made a decision that best suited our family, what worked best for us. Everyone has to do what works best for them. And what was best for us was for me to stay home. Um, okay, so I am PRN. So that just means that I work as needed. So typically I will work one day a week. Um, and because my husband works Monday through Friday, I typically work either Saturdays or um, Sunday nights. Um, it just depends what's going on because my husband, um, it depends because he travels for work sometimes. So it just depends what we got going on. But I typically work one or two days a week. And um, yeah, every other day I'm here at home. So like I said, I have two girls. They are awesome. They are wonderful. Love them very much. They were, um, they are very close in age. I had Riley November of 2018, and then um, I found out I was pregnant when Riley was nine months old, and it was a shocker. So, um, becoming a mom is like one of the best things that could ever happen to me. It has taught me a lot. Um, I didn't realize what being a mom was until I had Riley. Um, if you know me, which most of you don't, but you will get to know me, just subscribe to my channel. Um, I always had somebody's child with me. Like I was that person. Like I loved to babysit. I loved to um, take care of other people's children during church service and all that stuff. Like I always had a child with me. Like that's just who I've always been. So everyone would always say that one day Yoli will have children and she will love it because I love kids. But there is so much that us moms go through that isn't talked about. Well, when I was growing up, wasn't talked about. I see it a lot more now, which I'm like ecstatic about. Like I love that because I feel like a lot of people think that being a mom is easy or that when moms stay home and they don't go to work, then they're lazy. And it's like, no, like, we have a full-time job at the house because it's not only being a mom, it's you got to take care of the house. We got to cook. We got to clean. Um, we got to do dishes. We got to stay on top of laundry. And outside of being a mom, I'm also me and I'm also a wife. So it's it's not, it's not easy. But um, I learned a lot. I grew up a lot really quickly. I had to learn to put some someone else before my needs, which I don't have any issues doing because she's my child, they're my children, you know, but it was really, really hard to balance everything like that. I'm still learning. I'm still not there. Um, I'm still learning how to balance, how to make time for myself and take care of the family at the same time. Um, but it's a, it's a learning progress and we are still learning. So, um, my husband, like I said, travels a lot for work, so 
when we had Riley, um, we were renting a house and then we moved, rented an apartment, then we moved again, and then we finally bought our home. So I am a homeowner now and I love it. Um, but with everything, it comes with its own thing. <laughs> home ownership and for the week. That's all I'm gonna say. It's not for the week, but it is it is um it's wonderful at the same time. You have something that's yours. So um I started this YouTube channel. I've been thinking about it for a long, long time, a long, long time. Um, but of course, I just never did it because I was scared because I see all these great YouTubers out there and I'm like, how do y'all do it? Like they make it look so easy, but getting in front of a camera is never easy. Like I am the type of person like, and I've always been like this, like put me behind the scenes. Like I will put things together and make it look good behind the scenes. But as far as being out in the open for everyone to see, like that's just not me. Like I'm shy in that sense. But I love being a mom so much. And I feel like talking about what I go through is very therapeutic for me. It is very therapeutic. I enjoy it. So I started off on Instagram posting a whole lot more and verbalizing how I feel about different things and just giving you guys an inside look of what I go through with my children because they're so close in age. They're 17 months apart and that was an experience in itself. Um, but I started off on Instagram and it was therapeutic. I was like, I like this. Like, I like telling people what I'm going through. <laughs> like I, I want other people to know that they're not by themselves. You know what I'm saying? Like they're not alone. And when I started being more open and um, posting more, I started getting a lot more like comments from other moms like, oh my God, this is happening to you too. And I'm like, yes, like you are not by yourself. Or if I expressed how I felt and somebody would send me a message and be like, I felt the exact same way, but I didn't know I was supposed to feel that way. And I'm like, you are not alone. Um, I feel that way a lot of the time. And it's okay because at the end of the day, like being a mom is not easy. It is not for the weak at all. Like it's very, very hard. Um, but the more I talk about it, the more I share, the more I see that I'm not by myself. Like it just, it makes me feel a little bit better. It makes me feel like I'm not a total failure and that I'm not by myself and that I'm not the only one going through these things. And for some reason, it inspires me. It inspires me to keep going. It inspires me to do better. And I just love that. So why not share that with other moms? Like why not talk about our struggles, how we're feeling, what we want, what we can't have. Um, why not talk about that? Because we all go through it. We just don't talk about it. So I started a channel and it was hard. <laughs> The editing is no joke, but it was hard and I wasn't, my first video, I posted a, a first video and you could probably tell like you don't really see my face that much because like I said, I'm really scared to be in front of the camera, but I'm learning to show you guys my face and to be open and not to be scared and it's okay that I can be myself because that's the whole point. The whole point is for us to be real to be genuine and to show people, okay, this is who I really am behind the camera. Like I'm not always made up, I'm not, I'm not always done up. Normally my hair is tied up in a scarf. I have on a t-shirt with some shorts. Like normally, like what people normally see online is really not the case. Like if you have toddlers running around, like when do you have the time to <laughs> do your makeup? Like. <laughs> And to get dressed. And I see moms do it. And I'm just looking at them like, I wish I could do that. You know what I'm saying? But it's inspiring at the end of the day. It is inspiring. And like even right now, as I'm doing my makeup, I'm praying 
that my daughter stays distracted with her TV show that she's watching and I can get through this whole thing without her stopping me and saying that she's hungry because she's always hungry, always. So if you guys can relate to me, if you are a mom, if you're a stay-at-home mom, if you are a part-time mom, even if you're a full-time mom, I work, you work, it's the same. We all work, we all doing stuff. If you feel like you can relate to me any kind of way, go ahead and subscribe. Go ahead and leave a comment, let me know. Go ahead and stick around. Um, I'm gonna do my best to be as consistent as possible. Um, when life decides not to life, then um, I will be as consistent as possible to upload videos to show you guys what we do, how we do it, our struggles, the pain, everything. Um, I just want to be a blessing to somebody else in that sense. Like, just so you can see that you're not, you're not by yourself and that if you don't get stuff done, it's okay. And when you do get stuff done, to celebrate that. Like, <laughs> it's an accomplishment. Like, getting stuff done that you plan to get done is always an accomplishment. Even if it's like one or two things. I am like jumping for joy. So I would love for you guys to subscribe, stay tuned, support me, tell me what you want to see, tell me what you want to talk about because I'm trying to get used to talking in front of the camera. So if you guys give me some topics or whatever you want to talk about I don't know I'm not a pro at this this is this is not what I do <laughs> it might become something that I do but I'm not a pro so I'm doing my best um so don't come for me instead support me teach me tell me what I need to do so I can be better so you guys can be satisfied I guess I'm not a pro at this makeup thing either but it's not looking too bad if I do say so myself don't look too bad. I don't really bake for a long, long time. I just put it on for a second and then I'll just brush it away. Um, but in the meantime, I'm going to put on some lashes because I feel like if I'm going to do this, I might as well do it, right? So the way I do my lashes, I'll share this with you guys because I don't really go out. So, but I don't know how to do the strips. Like I'm terrible at it. Um, so I got the Lashify. I don't know if you guys ever heard of Lashify, but I got their, um, their Whisper Light Flexible Bond, and I bought lashes from Amazon, and they are, I think, size 14, because I tried the 16, and it was too long, so these are the 14s, um, and I used the Lashify glue, and I put these on, and they actually go up underneath your eye. It doesn't go on top, and it's not a strip, so I have four separate pieces, if that makes sense. So I will put this on like mascara so you guys can see. I normally get it like right underneath the, the lash line. I don't even know the right terminology for this, but we're gonna we're gonna go for it. Put this like this. I'm so excited about this channel because I feel like I haven't been myself in so long because I've been so bogged down with, not bogged down, but so busy with taking care of my family and learning how to balance everything. I just feel like this could be something that's for me. You know what I mean? Like this is something that I can, I can do while I'm at home taking care of everybody and I can still be myself on camera. You know what I'm saying? Like, I don't know if that makes sense, but it makes sense in my brain. It's just a way for me to, to get back to my old self again. So y'all will be my friends. Y'all will listen to me complain. <laughs> I don't really complain, but I do vent. Venting, I feel like it's very important. Like, I just need someone to hear me. So on the other side of this bond, there's like this white part and I think it's what like fuses it together. I don't really know, but so I put that on the edge. So it's like white, you put it on the inside of the lash. 
What's wrong, Mama? Hold on, okay? You hungry? Yeah. Okay, Mommy gonna get you something, even though you just ate. So then it's gonna go on the bottom of my lash, like so. It's supposed to stay like that. <gasps> y'all see that? Do y'all see that? And I have used these lashes like at least four times already. What's wrong? What's wrong? Okay, mama, hold on. I have used them at least four times. This is like the fifth. And I got them from Amazon and they were not expensive at all. So on to the next one. Your show is finished? Like that, yes. Okay, let me change. Next. Um, I don't remember what I was saying, but I'm really happy about this because I needed something for me because I'm always cleaning for others, cooking for others, laundry for others. And I enjoy all of that. Don't get me wrong. I enjoy it. I love it. Um, but sometimes you just need something for you. Like when I clean my kitchen, that is for me. Because I love a clean kitchen, but y'all get what I'm saying. I hope you do. If you don't, go ahead and leave me a comment and tell me why you don't get it. <laughs> or if you guys have like specific questions, please ask me. Because this is new for me and I'm just not, I'm trying. Uh, but I want to be good at it too, you know what I'm saying? Like, who doesn't want to be good at something that they're doing? So, I want to get better over time. Alright, so I normally only put four. I don't really put, like, a whole bunch because it's just too much. I think it looks really pretty, like, less is more. So, hold on, my mom. I'm almost done, okay? I'm almost done. I'm gonna put my brush. So yeah, so that's one eye. Do I see that? I don't know where I'm going today, but we'll just uh we'll just look good in the house, okay? Mommy, Ooh, this one wanna come off. Yeah, mommy. What is it? Mommy, I take it for you. You take the brush for me? Yeah. Oh, that's so sweet. You are so sweet, girl. Okay, so that's one eye. So I have put I think I put the glue thing on this side already, so it should be like super easy to do because you're supposed to let it dry a little bit, just like regular. Oh, it doesn't look too bad. It doesn't look too bad. What do y'all think? It's good. Ooh, Thank you. You think I'm beautiful? Thank you, Mama Sita. You're so nice. Beautiful hair. I didn't do my hair yet. <laughs> Thank you. You're so sweet. Mommy's going to do her hair right now. Yes, I am. So, I love Reagan and I love Riley. Um, I love taking care of them. I love watching them grow. Um, it's been a journey, like I said, for sure. Um, like, before I got married, I didn't even, I didn't cook. I lived at home with my parents all the way up until Reagan. No, thank you. Reagan. 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 Stop that. Stop. Stop. You're embarrassing me. Stop. Um, I didn't know how to cook, so. Reagan. No, for real. For real, for real. I didn't know how to cook, so I really had to like figure it out and i did so i'm doing much better now like i said if you follow me on instagram you will see love mama yoli on instagram be nice to reagan. on facebook what do you mean be nice to reagan you have to be nice to mommy be nice to, be nice to mommy you have to listen okay but you gotta be nice to mommy as well i don't know where my other coin is but so I am going to straighten. Mommy, I know you're hungry, Mama. Give me one second. 
So my hair is braided on the sides. Um, and I have some leave out. I'm just going to straighten it. And then I have a U-part wig that's just going to go. Bloop, and that's it. So I'm probably going to um, zoom. Not zoom. What am I saying? I'm probably going to um, speed this one up. So you guys are not listening to Reagan complain that she's hungry while I straighten my hair. But I'm going to fast forward this part. So thank you so much for watching this video. Thank you so much for subscribing. Thank you so much for leaving a comment. Thank you so much for encouraging me. Because when I see you guys like it and comment, that encourages me to keep going. So I feel like I'm doing something right. You know what I'm saying? But I appreciate you guys so much. You have no idea. Because you guys are helping me. So, enjoy this next part. I'll probably come back and show you guys the final, the final, um, what I, what I'm going to look at the end. You know what I'm saying. Okay.
about doing what I got to do to make it work. Okay, and this works. So I think I have a long piece. Nope, it's blended. Okay. How does it look, you guys? Do I look like I'm blended? You dropped it? Yeah. Here. Do I look blended? Do I look blended? Okay. I think that works. That's it. That's it. That's it. That's it. How do I look, Mama? How do I look? This is the final look. I've always wanted to say that. This is the final look. No, I'm just kidding. Huh? No, I don't need the headband, girl. I don't need the headband. Okay, so. Thank you guys so much for watching. I actually enjoyed filming this video. I had so much fun. I didn't think I could do it. I didn't think I would be brave enough. I didn't think I would look good enough. But I actually had a good time. I had a good time talking to you guys and doing my makeup because I don't get to do that often. Um, did my hair as well and it's it's giving. It's giving. Yes. This is a this piece is. Go ahead and it's okay. I'll fix it. But Reagan wants to say bye to you guys. Say thank you for watching. Thank you for watching. Say see you later. See you later. Say bye. Bye. <laughs> Thank you for watching, you guys. Have a good one. We'll see you next time. Bye.